With the introduction of ultra-high-speed 5G, service providers expect significant business opportunities from both enterprise and consumer markets. Faster time to market with increased operational efficiency are the key criteria to capture these opportunities. With VMware Telco Cloud Platform Public Cloud, service providers can leverage consistent horizontal infrastructure and multi-layer automation in a multi-cloud environment, achieving faster innovation, service introduction, and enhanced operational efficiency. All result in realizing their multi-cloud strategies. VMware Telco Cloud Platform Public Cloud is powered by VMware Cloud on AWS and comprises of a standard deployment and optional add-ons to support specific NFVI architectures and use cases. The platform enables service providers to seamlessly migrate their workloads to VMware Cloud on AWS, offering its software-defined data center as the consistent underpinning infrastructure. VMware's software-defined data center consists of the following components. VMware vSphere, running on elastic bare metal hosts deployed in AWS. VMware NSX Data Center to power networking for the service offering. VMware vSAN, aggregating host-based storage into a shared data store. Service providers can add other useful components, such as a VIM, NFVO, and FCAPs, fault, configuration, accounting, performance, and security to enhance their operational experience. Service providers can add other useful components, such as a VIM, NFVO, and FCAPs. By adding VMware Telco Cloud Automation, service providers can enjoy multi-layer automation capabilities across multi-cloud environments. It offers a combination of operational consistency and simplified workload provisioning and mobility from the network core, edge, to the RAN with seamless integration of public clouds and on-premises telco clouds. In this demo, we will show how simple it is to operate VMware Telco Cloud Platform Public Cloud and how fast it is to onboard and deploy a virtualized network function, VNF, on VMware Cloud on AWS using automation. This involves two steps. Deploy VMware Telco Cloud Automation on VMware Cloud on AWS. Instantiate and provision a VNF. Now let's consider one potential configuration for service providers with VMware Cloud on AWS. The VMware Cloud, with its software-defined data center, is up and running with two clusters in active state. Networking and security displays various network connections needed for setup. The advantage of the VMware Cloud on AWS is that service providers do not need to perform separate NSX integrations. Rather, all the connectivity is seamless and the system is configured automatically. We will proceed to build a single tenant architecture based on VNFs. VMware Telco Cloud Automation must be installed as a prerequisite before we can proceed. Let's get started. Log in to the vCenter Software Defined Data Center portal with Cloud Admin Credentials. The vCenter OVF Deployment Wizard will then ask you to select the local file. Click Next to continue. Assign a name to the VMware Telco Cloud Automation Virtual Machine and click Next. Select the Compute Resource Pool to deploy and ensure compatibility checks succeeded and click Next. At this step, review the version of VMware Telco Cloud Automation and specs related to the size and storage to run it appropriately. Then click Next. Review the end user license and accept the license agreement. Click Next. Select the Workload Data Store and ensure compatibility checks succeeded. Click Next. Here, select Correct Logical Switch, Port Group, and click Next. You can customize the deployment properties by entering the required parameters, such as the password and networking details here. Click Next to continue. After reviewing all the information, click Finish to complete the deployment. In a few minutes, the deployment is complete and the virtual machine is powered on. We follow a similar process when deploying VMware Telco Cloud Automation Control Plane Virtual Machine. Next, log into VMware Telco Cloud Automation to configure SSO and perform vCenter integration. Once you have applied and validated the license, register VMware Cloud vCenter and configure SSO for simpler and faster access to the manager. The VMware Telco Cloud Automation appliance needs to be restarted to enable SSO.
After successful restarts, log in to VMware Telco Cloud Automation using FQDN and VMware Cloud SSO. Cloud Admin at vmc.local. Now you can see that you have logged in using Cloud Admin SSO account. Let's move on to the next step. Before we can deploy any VNF, we must first add virtual infrastructure and then create a compute profile. The VMware Cloud vCenter will be added as a virtual infrastructure endpoint. Next, create a compute profile to onboard any VNF. Add the virtual infrastructure endpoint by clicking Manage Compute Profiles. Provide compute profile details. The VNFs will be deployed as resources in a compute profile. All prerequisites are in place, and we are ready to onboard and deploy VNFs. Now that VMware Telco Cloud Automation is successfully installed on VMware Cloud on AWS, let's instantiate and onboard Evolved Packet Data Gateway Function, or EPDG function. But before you do that, let's make sure to upload all the necessary images and templates to your vCenter server instance. We can now begin to onboard EPDG function by uploading its CSAR package. Here, you can see the topology for the network function. Save the draft and update the catalog. Here, you see that EPDG function has been successfully onboarded. Now, let's instantiate it. The underpinning infrastructures can be customized to meet specific requirements. Choose the cloud and the VMware Cloud Compute Profile where this EPDG will be instantiated. Click Next to continue. In the Network Function Properties tab, a table entitled Connection Point Network Mapping appears, displaying information about numerous virtualized distributed units, or VDUs, and related connection points. You can see that this EPDG has many nodes and various network types, along with different types of connectivity. On the Inputs tab, you can view OVF properties for each VDU within the VNF, as well as any pre- or post-workflows attached to the VNF. Finally, review the configuration before clicking Instantiate. VMware Telco Cloud Automation creates the virtual machines and networks needed for your network function on the cloud you specify. An instantiated value in the state column of a network function indicates that the instantiation process was successful and that this EPDG function is now operational. Using the VMware Telco Cloud Automation user interface, we can run a manual workflow and download the output directly as a text file that contains successful connectivity, license validation, and service verification data. During this demonstration, we illustrated how simple it is to deploy network functions on VMware Cloud on AWS through VMware Telco Cloud Platform Public Cloud. Using VMware Telco Cloud Automation, we can onboard, instantiate, and run network functions and workflows with a few simple clicks. Telco Cloud Platform Public Cloud is a consistent, cloud-first solution, allowing service providers to seamlessly migrate their workloads to public cloud IaaS with ease. The platform provides a choice and flexibility for service providers to realize their multi-cloud visions and strategies.